all right everybody welcome to another episode of selling cars at Garanian Corp garage and today we have something truly special this automobile is called a Subaru Sambar Tri and um, it is a very very cute thing um, it is in excellent condition uh, aside from very very minor imperfections it is uh, pretty much mint uh, it is definitely show worthy and um, you will not be able to find something like this pretty much anywhere in the world. This is kind of a one-of-a-kind buy here, you know. Uh, just mint condition, everything works, everything's perfect, interior is perfect, paint is excellent, original paint. However, I did find a couple of spots on this automobile, and we're going to show you where the paint were applied before was applied before. So, uh, other than that, everything is just mint, you know. And the lights, the lenses. Uh, everything is such a such a good shape um, we did have to do some reconditioning reconditioning to it uh, here at the Raining Corp and uh, just minor things you know little fix up and tune up here and there but overall it is in fantastic shape and uh, even the stickers are um, original and uh, you will be able to see some um, very minor minor scratches here that uh, I actually photographed and you'll be able to see that in the pictures in the photos so um, um, other than a couple of minor imperfections everything is excellent uh, the rubber trim is in very very good condition so is the stainless on top of the roof the glass is excellent it doesn't have any scratches um, anywhere on the glass it's just nice and shiny everything is in, in excellent condition uh, stickers are in excellent condition and uh, the metal uh, door uh, rails are in excellent condition they're actually stainless uh, as well uh, so uh, let's go ahead and talk about uh, uh, wheels and tires so uh, the wheels on it were um, Yokohama and uh, I did have to replace them for this uh, set of Carlisle sport trail um, you'd be surprised this is actually a trailer tire and uh, um, because I wasn't able to find anything in 12 inch size um, but I really like it the way it looks and you know Carlisle is a good brand of trailer tires and uh, it actually looks nice and classy it's like this vintage skinny look to it and I really really like that uh, so they are brand new uh, the spare tire that you're going to see in the pictures that tire is uh, original and uh, never been used all right so let's go ahead and move towards the back of this automobile it does have a few scratches somebody drove it under something a canopy or something like that and uh, there are a few scratches here but when it comes to scratches that's pretty much about it there is one more uh, little tiny little scratch right there and you'll be able to see that in the picture but again the stickers are in very very good condition so is the badging so is the bumpers uh, let's go ahead and open up this door while we're talking about paint uh, you will be able to see and I do have a good eye for it there is a little bit of paint applied right there like from here to here and actually you can see there is a little slightly different shade to it like from here to here so you'll be able to see um, I mean only uh, individual who knows uh, about paint and the body work will be able to spot this other than that this is pretty much all I was able to find on this automobile and look at that closure closure is very nice and solid everything else is nice and original on it uh, the mud flaps are in very very good condition and they're nice and soft you know they're not dried out or anything um, excellent shape so is the trim uh, and the uh, stainless door guard uh, door um, guide I would say door rail um, stainless uh, alongside the roof is in excellent condition glass is very very good um, and paint is just very nice and clean and the door handles are perfect you know they're nice and chrome no pitting on the chrome and plastic is in very good shape and you know it's not shined up by the greasy stuff it's actually nice and black you know it's just in fantastic condition and antenna is you know nice and stainless so uh, mirrors are in very good shape the actual mirror is in excellent condition 
Uh, so, uh, and this is what you get, you know. This is a very, very nice car. It, it is a mega head turner. I mean, anywhere I drive this, I mean, it's amazing. Thumbs up all the time, plus a crowd guarantee. But, you know, you wouldn't buy that for that. It's just something like that would come with this car. But, uh, um, aside from minor imperfections, there is a very small, tiny little thing right there, and you'll be able to see it in the pictures. Um, you can actually pull it out with, via paintless dent removal, but in order to do that, you probably have to take the dash out so the guy can get in the back of it and kind of push it out. But other than that, it's amazing condition. The lights are in excellent condition. They're icky lights, and I really dig this clear corner and this automobile is 1983 you know this is not a turn signal turn signal is obviously on the bottom but this is just a side marker but it made in clear so kind of looks good so uh, this is uh, pretty much going to uh, conclude the uh, review of the outside um, one more time the bumpers are very very good condition um, no wear on them no stone chips uh, actually no stone chips on the front there is one little tiny stone chip but other than that I mean it doesn't have oh well two time two tiny stone chips other than that it doesn't have any any wear on the front and the badge is in very very good shape and everything is just beautiful so it's amazing that such a flat nose automobile didn't didn't get any uh, sandblasting on the front for all these years and it is a about to be 34 year automobile um, also you will be able to put a blue, blue tag on it because it is over 30 years old so uh, now we're going to go ahead and uh, show you the interior of this car and uh, what we're going to do is uh, um, I'm going to go ahead hop inside and uh, we'll show you what it is about so uh, inside it's um, nine and a half out of ten mint everything is mint no scratches no scratches on the plastic everything is shiny no fade interior upholstery is perfect this original hounds tooth upholstery and looks beautiful um, just everything's perfect you know and the way it shifts like very nicely uh, two-wheel drive four-wheel drive lever shift is right here uh, spare tire is right underneath and as well as the toolbox but overall condition of the interior is amazing I mean it is a it is a show car hands down uh, I mean, you will not not be able to find this anywhere in this condition anywhere it is a show car hands down unrestored unrestored show car so uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and crank it up and we'll show you what you know Japanese quality is about so I'm going to go ahead and pull a little bit of choke because it's dead cold I just rolled it out of the garage and then make sure it's in neutral turn the key and right there so uh, it is a two-cylinder motor 550cc uh, four-speed four-wheel drive with an extra low gear um, and the interesting thing about the extra low gear that uh, it is located on the same axis as the reverse I'm going to kill it right now just so I'm going to show you um, when you put four-wheel drive like that it will allow you to go into extra low so it's located on the same axis for the reason you can rock this automobile out of the ditch or if you would get it stuck somewhere you know on the beach or something like that it's located reverse extra low reverse extra low on the same on the same axis you know like on most of the cars you don't have to go first gear and then boom boom reverse fourth gear so it's kind of on the same axis um, other than that everything is nice clarion radio which does work there is only one speaker in this car and it is located right there uh, actually no it's somewhere else I think right here is the brake reservoir right behind this cover uh, I forgot where the speaker is but it's somewhere around here uh, it's definitely only one speaker um, so let's show you the carpet the carpet is in excellent condition everything is in excellent condition stickers and the pedals and the actual floor mats are not worn just unobtainium you know 
it really is unobtainium. So um, I'd like you to notice that I actually sit in a very comfortable position here. Uh, so it, it really is comfortable. So notice my leg room, you know. There we, oh, there we go, my leg room, and I can actually recline and cruising style. So now we're going to go ahead and hop in the back and we'll show you what's going on in the back. What is going on in the back is an extra clean carpet and I'm gonna take my shoes off ah, because it did take me a long time to clean this up and to vacuum it. So you saw the uh, comfortable position up front, now check my comfortable position in the back. I mean tons of room, it really is really really roomy and we got some nice room in the back as well uh, and the best part about this um, you can fold the seat flat onto the floor and you'll be able to get six feet of length uh, cargo room in the back plus this mega tall uh, high roof uh, just makes this very spacious little cute thing so uh, now we're going to go ahead and, and also notice all the stickers you know they're just mint pristine clean no fade perfect you know you can really describe it with any other words and everything works so uh, let's go ahead and show you how the back seat of this automobile works basically there is this ancient strap you pull that up there's one more strap you pull that away and then you would fold this and let's notice you know i was sitting up up front here nice and comfortable let's see if this seat will be able to fold down without me moving the front seats voila and then you will raise this up if you have boxes so they would not touch the seats or not disturb your beautiful upholstery but everything is very nice the hinges the hardware uh, the black trim everything is in very 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 good condition i mean this is 33 years old so it looks like it is uh one year old or one to three years old i mean it has no wear on this car at all so let's go ahead and pop the seat back up well let me show you you can actually, with my height, that would be uh, what six? Uh, oh, come on, six, five, ten, five, eleven. I think. You know, I fit nicely. So let's go ahead and pop this up. And then we'll pop this back on. Put the ancient strap back. So. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and move towards the back and we'll show you what's going on in the back. Alright, so what's going on in the back is an uh, interesting thing. Struts that 33 year old, they actually hold this gate nice and firm. Um, and that's about it, plenty of room. Um, excellent condition, just brand new, you know, brand new. Uh, there is some very minor, minor, minor wear, like from somebody carrying a little box. And I'm sure if you run a buffer on the inside, and for that you're probably gonna have to tape the whole car. I mean, you can get it out or by hand, you know. But for me, I have to stop somewhere. So um, this is just beautiful. Um, so uh, let's show you the engine. Uh, the main access to the engine is right behind this carpet, and we're going to show you pop it up just where it is and all that so uh, you can actually see that this is nice and clean there is no rust no corrosion uh, the battery is right there uh, there is a rear heater which actually works and it's located right here and this lid right here it is uh, the engine is located underneath uh, your filter element and your carburetor and things like that but we're going to show you the engine right now it is nice and clean so uh, there we go, let's latch this back on. Oh, and then there is this little latch. Oh, so, uh, there you go, you can still see zinc plating, you know, a little bit of uh, some kind of a residue on it, but that's all right. Uh, other than that, everything is in good shape, uh, runs real good. Let's go ahead and show you uh, the inside. I'm sure you'll be able to see it's nice and clean. There is no sludge, none of that nature. Um, you know, 
and that's really about it everything works runs real good um, so now we're going to go ahead and close it now it's closed so this is going to uh, conclude the review of the outside of this automobile in the interior and uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and show you that all the lights on this automobile work proper the way they're supposed to work Alright everybody, now we're going to go ahead and conclude the test drive, which con will consist out of four parts. Drive off, drive by, brake check and a street performance test. Let's roll. Now, now we have to take preventative measures, safety first. That's right. I'm ready. You can see uh, right nicely takeoff is on the level uh, braking is definitely on the level actually uh, handles well uh, something like this you will not want to drive on the highway however I did uh, wearing that uh, white stripe with a red dot before but uh, you don't really want to do that um, um, other than that rides real good will fit anybody who is going to drive it in a rural area you want to use it for fun want to collect it you're gonna show it I definitely would do that or if you just want to you know have it as a toy next to you know some other cars and maybe uh, use it as a beer run so whatever you choose you can drive it on the beach it does have 4x4 four four. Uh, you can put a custom roof rack you can put a surfboard inside um, you know, that will fit if you would fold the front seat forward um, other than that, everything is in excellent condition, beautiful car, runs real good, uh, not much to talk about, everything's perfect, some close to 200 pictures online, uh, and all this car needs is a new proud owner. Alright boys and girls, let's go ahead and take this beast for a spin. Safety first. Um, now it's just enough light to do the video. I don't really like doing it when the sun is out, so. Cranks instantly, you know. Let's roll. Hold on, hold on, I, I, keep, I keep forgetting something. There you go. Now we're talking. That's right. It actually drives nicely, you know. Um, shit's really good. Uh, 
Uh, everything is really good. It doesn't pull, it doesn't shake, it doesn't vibrate. Uh, just a nice, nice collectible automobile. I really, really like it. And in this condition there are only, you know, maybe some left in the world, but for sure not many. Kilometer is 59,000 kilometers. That's verified provable mileage. Uh, I do have paperwork for that as well. Um, and uh, you know, uh, what 59,000 come out to be what? Uh, some 30,000 miles. I'd like to overtake this guy, but I don't think we have enough torque in this situation. So we're just gonna sit in the back for a second. All right, now we're rowing. That was a very boring moment we had to cut out there. But now we're on the throttle again. past 80 kilometers and you can see that needle is just going down into the red zone so that's where you really want to stay right right before the red zone which is we're doing some 85 kilometers an hour right now and I mean I get to a hundred kilometers an hour which is 60 miles an hour but you really want to back down and uh, kind of enjoy the ride right there at your 50 mile an hour mark so uh, and we're doing nicely you know right in traffic I mean on the main street no problem so and now we're going to show you how it does in traffic and maybe we'll see some reaction to our to our setup here uh, nothing rattles inside and this road is really crappy so way more expensive cars rattle interior on this road and just nothing squeaks in here everything works the blower works heater works everything nice you know just working good um, so let's talk about interior a little bit uh, lights work um, Right there, all the lights work on the gauge, turn signal oil, brake, um, the four-wheel drive light, you can see that works, choke light works, battery light works, the uh, high beam and the rear heater, you know, all those lights work as they should and uh, um, just amazing condition, fantastic, you know, I'm just very, very hard to come by. Uh, I would say impossible to come by. Impossible. On a rarity scale, very rare. Very, very, very rare. So, um, um, what else? Let's uh, try to tune up some music. There we go. One of the reasons that will help you is to lower your expectations of others. That's Muchas right. veces nosotros eh, somos perfeccionistas o, o pensamos que todo lo hacemos bien y a veces cuando le pedimos un favor a alguien, sea un hijo, una hija, al esposo, a la esposa, a veces le ponemos unas expectativas demasiado altas. Puede ser un compañero de trabajo, puede ser alguien en el ministerio. It works. So radio works. And we're in the left lane right there actually doing 90 kilometers an hour. And here comes the limiter, the buzzer. I just let go and the limiter comes in right at 90. Uh, on all Japanese cars right before 1989, 
all the cars were equipped with that option. Uh, this particular kicks in at 90 kilometers, uh, faster cars kick in, I think, at 115. I think about 115, 110, something like that. I don't remember exactly, but, but look at that. In the left lane, and we're not creating traffic, we're actually keeping up in a rural area. You know, it's very nice and user-friendly. So, and now we're gonna hit some traffic up ahead. Temperature is exactly where it should be. Brakes nice, no pull. Drum brakes in all four corners, they actually work very, very well. Um, so, look at that. Wow. So, uh, we are going to sit here for a minute or so. And right now we're going to cut that thing out. So, next time, you know, I'm going to be talking. That will be down the light. Alright, so we had to uh, get a little bit of a shortcut. And now we're back in traffic and in action with our video reportage. There you go. Now I'm going to try to attempt to overtake. Right there, fourth gear. Oh, not gonna happen. There we go, the limiter comes in. Top speed right there. And no overtake this time, unfortunately. So alright, we'll back off the limiter. But the car is actually very nice and produces right enough speed to move around. You, know. you wouldn't you wouldn't want to drive this on the highway, just around town, show friends, to a car show, on the beach, in your neighborhood, delivering mail, anything you want to do with it. But it would be very nice if this automobile will remain in the hands of a collector of some kind or something like that, or somebody who's actually going to appreciate what this car is and what it is all about and how rare it is and how pretty it is and how mint of uh, how mint of a condition it is in. So and there we go. Back at the shop. And check that out. You see those black lines? I think that's for me taking off. Hmm. Powerful thing. So uh, this is going to conclude our uh, review of this automobile. Um, there's not much to talk about. It's just perfect, really, uh, for the year and the condition of it. Everything is mint. Um, there is. Um, I had. Oh, there we go. Electric fan comes in. Yeah, 1983 on this little thing. Um, uh, so uh, yeah, I brought two of them. Um, actually, uh, brought uh, bought uh, both of them from the first owner. Um, the guy had two automobiles. They were both identical. Uh, one was two-wheel drive. One was four-wheel drive. And uh, and here it is. Never really drove it. So you're going to be a second owner of this beautiful car. And uh, that's uh, really it. Um, very beautiful. All it needs is a new proud owner. Beep, beep.